Friday. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous it is. You can see the blue skies. Oh, let me move that. You can see the blue skies right there. And I am loving it. So how is everybody this Friday? How's your week been? I've had quite a productive week. Looking forward to the weekend. And I'm very excited because I'm outside being cute. I know. I know. People might think this boring, but I'm on my own. Bit of me time being cute. <laughs> Let's see what they have to offer. I am after paint samples for my colour boards for my next videos. So I'm going to go in and have a little look, see if they've got anything that takes my fancy. Also, I could get some paper samples as well, couldn't I? Feeling creative, want to do some mood boards, some vision boards, get everyone inspired. Mm, I'll see you soon. Let's go and see what there is. Craig and Rose had a sample sale for like one pound a test apart. I'll show you later on the video. A little tote bag. But there we've got samples in, so I'm gonna have fun with that. So I was chatting to one of the um, guys in there, really nice guy, really, really helpful. And he was telling me that Craig and Rose is gonna be ceased to be sold in B and Q and replaced with Wick. You heard it here folks, replace with Lick, they're going to have interactive screens and displays, so that's going to be fun, so I can't wait to come and check that out when they have that in there. So key hours peeled, coming in February I believe, so there you go. I've just found some gorgeous wallpaper, quite busy wallpaper for all you uh, minimalists and neutralists out there, however, you know, just think colour, bam, wham, contrast, textures, and I'm going to do like a reel of how you can style it with things I've just found at B&Q because it's quite reasonably priced there was a, quite a nice variety and it's fun and it's creative and I might send it to B&Q so, so let's see what they say all right then I'll catch you later Bye. hi right I am doing this color board for Peach Steam, the Club Year by Pantone, Peach Fuzz. And I want to show you some of the samples I've got and some of my ideas to do a modern day peach scheme. So first up, this is the basis of my scheme. It's this wallpaper by, uh, from b and I will post the uh, description in the comments below. So as you see, we've got a lot of dark blues in there. We've got nice, some green, gray hues and the accent colour, the future colour in there for me are these sandy, zesty peach colours. I've got an array of different colours. So I've got an array of peach that I've got and they are Valspar. So I'll go through them with peach colours. I've got some grey tones, got some green and I've got some blues. All inspired by that wallpaper. I have some granite, black and then I've got uh, some versatile top as well this is Roso, which i think has got a really good peachy vibe and i'm loving the black against the peach in this color scheme and fabric wise i've gone for these beautiful like velour 
textured pieces there are for mal on the nose. It's got mildly effect, got some nice grains. They're all very tonal, quite warm, quite sumptuous. So they look good in this scheme. Got some wood from Junkers. How nice is this? I love this. It's called Twilight Grey. I'm liking the tones and that. You can see I've picked up inspo from the wallpaper to coordinate that together. And have a few leathers, faux leathers and some fabrics by Yarwood just to soften up and uh, this will indicate upholstery sections throughout the scheme. I've got some samples from Tausch there, some blue, some light like blush pink. I don't know from the videos, I'm thinking the blush pink does overlap with the peaches and a beautiful green colour as well. So that's Carnival Jade. Oh, gorgeous. Right, we've got all our samples, we've done the foraging, we've done the shopping, we've got all our bits and pieces together, so now it's time for the fun bit. Firstly, before I prepare a final mood board, I like to get creative, get a bit messy, get those samples on the table in front of me, and let's see how they work together. Start by overlapping and layering all your different fabric samples, wallpapers and those colours, and let's just see what complements each other, what works with each other, what we like what we don't like this stage is great because it doesn't matter if you make mistakes as long as you get the final product that you're happy with so go ahead make a mess and get creative Right, you design enthusiasts, it is time to build our final mood board. Now with this one, Design Bay likes to use a tray and I've gone for a wicker tray. It's a neutral colour, but I really think it will help offset the scheme. So I have started with a basis for this one, which is that gorgeous wallpaper Druzy from B&Q. It's got the punchy peach accent colours in there and I'm just putting it together with some beautiful fabrics, bringing them colours together, and then working in tiles, we have work tops, things we can use for the floor and the walls. Think about all the spaces that you're gonna to need to fill when you execute your design. This scheme is really working well. I really especially like how the black offsets that beautiful, vibrant peach colour. And then we can finish it up with a little bit of eye mongery. I went for the rose gold here because I think that just works beautifully overall with the muted blues, the punchy peach, the contrast of the black and the tan colours for warmth. What do you think? Thanks for joining me at Design Bay. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and come back soon. Don't forget to leave those comments on what you want to see more of. Goodbye.